The Vanna Volga method is a mathematical tool used in finance. It is a technique for pricing first-generation exotic options in foreign exchange market derivatives. It consists of adjusting the black skull's theoretical value by the cost of a portfolio which hedges three main risks associated to the volatility of the option. The Vega, the Vanna and the Volga. The Vanna is the sensitivity of the Vega with respect to a change in the spot FX rate. Similarly, the Volga is the sensitivity of the Vega with respect to a change of the implied volatility. If we consider a smile volatility term structure with ATM strike, ATM volatility, and where are the 25 delta call put strikes then the hedging portfolio will be composed of the at the money, risk reversal and butterfly strategies, with the black skulls price of a call option. The simplest formulation of the Vanna Volga method suggests that the Vanna Volga price of an exotic instrument is given by whereby denotes the black skulls price of the exotic and the Greeks are calculated with ATM volatility and these quantities represent a smile cost, namely the difference between the price computed with without including the smile effect. The rationale behind the above formulation of the Vanna Volga price is that one can extract the smile cost of an exotic option by measuring the smile cost of a portfolio designed to hedge its Vanna and Volga risks. The reason why one chooses the strategies BF and RR to do this is because they are liquid FX instruments and they carry mainly Volga and respectively Vanna risks. The weighting factors and represent respectively the amount of R needed to replicate the options Vanna, and the amount of BF needed to replicate the options Volga. The above approach ignores the small fraction of Volga carried by the R and the small fraction of Vanna carried by the BF. It further neglects the cost of hedging the Vega risk. This has led to a more general formulation of the Vanna Volga method in which one considers that within the black skulls assumptions the exotic options Vega, Vanna and Volga can be replicated by the weighted sum of three instruments, where the weightings are obtained by solving the system. With given this replication, the Vanna Volga method adjusts the BS price of an exotic option by the smile cost of the above weighted sum wherein the quantities can be interpreted as the market prices attached to a unit amount of Vega, Vanna and Volga, respectively. The resulting correction, however, typically turns out to be too large. Market practitioners thus modify to the Vega contribution turns out to be several orders of magnitude smaller than the Vanna and Volga terms in all practical situations. Hence one neglects it. The terms and are put in by hand and represent factors that ensure the correct behavior of the price of an exotic option near a barrier. As the knockout barrier level of an option is gradually moved toward the spot level, the BSTV price of a knockout option must be a monotonically decreasing function, converging to zero exactly it. Since the Vanna Volga method is a simple rule of thumb and not a rigorous model, there is no guarantee that this will be a priori the case. The attenuation factors are of a different from for the Vanna or the Volga of an instrument. This is because for barrier values close to the spot they behave differently. The Vanna becomes large while, on the contrary, the Volga becomes small. Hence the attenuation factors take the form, where represents some measure of the barrier vicinity to the spot with the features the coefficients are found through calibration of the model to ensure that it reproduces the vanilla smile. Good candidates for that ensure the appropriate behavior close to the barriers are the survival probability and the expected first exit time. Both of these quantities offer the desirable property that they vanish close to a barrier. Survival probability. The survival probability refers to the probability that the spot does not touch one or more barrier levels. For example, for a single barrier option we have where is the value of a no-touch option and the discount factor between today and maturity. Similarly, for options with two barriers the survival probability is given through the undiscounted value of a double no-touch option. 
first exit time. The first exit time is the minimum between the time in the future when the spot is expected to exit a barrier zone before maturity and maturity. If the spot has not hit any of the barrier levels up to maturity, that is, if we denote the FET by then min where such that or where are the low versus high barrier levels in the spot of today. The first exit time is the solution of the following PD. This equation is solved backwards in time starting from the terminal condition where is the time to maturity in boundary conditions. In case of a single barrier option we use the same PDE with either or. The parameter represents the risk-neutral drift of the underlying stochastic process.